France clock in for their very first appearance at these championships. A special anniversary edition, in fact, games held across multiple nations. A true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. 11 players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event. Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be, at least for partisan parties, the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem, now to match it. So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. the whistle Jim you've played in games of this nature who can make the difference yeah and Golo Kante he is only one midfielder but it often feels like he does the oh shooting chance and for a moment time stood still you lucky boy you lucky lucky boy giving the ball away like that is usually punished Pjanic. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Griezmann. Message. He goes long. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Pogba. Matuidi battles to win it back. Baran gets into the right position to intercept. Mbappe. Havar. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Sumic. Besic. And it's Besic. Keeps everyone guessing. Pogba. Rafael Varane. Mbappe doesn't get the pass he's looking for. It's a promising ball. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. 
Mondi. Matuidi. And here's Giroud. And it's played forward. A real chance to break. It's found its way to him. They've managed to get it away. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Bosnia have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Dinks one in. And it's Kolasinac. It is a corner, good chance. And a shot! And oh! Goal! Bosnia had to governor! First blood draw. Jeko Julie reaps his reward, kept his call whilst the defence lost their bearings. But for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Bosnia and Herzegovina go ahead, one goal to the good. He's on a charge, but he's on his own for now. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. And they win it back again. Besic. Mendy gets it back. Griezmann. Pavar. Has a pop! That is absolutely glorious! That is a gem! An absolute gem! They have done it! They have their equaliser! And you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well good. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback, and this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go on better, possibly. Mbappe! Well, I think when you're in that situation, all you can do is, is tip your hat to the keeper because that was fantastic. This could fall anywhere. Oh, real danger here. Mbappe has a goal! Goal! France! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot.
France take the lead. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Just brushed off the ball there, and it's Giroud. Pogba. Out to the left it goes. Cut out in the nick of time. Matuidi. Besic. Gets a good foot in there. Kante goes looking. Mbappe. And it's Mondi. Got a sight of goal here. And the shot! Finish at the end. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire. But how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. So the lead now is two. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Tries to get it forward quickly. Mbappe. France have scored two quick goals here and are firmly in control at 3-1. Mendy with a delicate... Going for goal! He can pounce on that! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Look, there are some very good headers of a ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the right delivery to give them a chance to, uh, to go at this. Checo. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Besic. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Checo! A great save, real class. Checo is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Uh, it's a fine challenge, and it goes his way. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And it's Mondi. Griezmann. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Kolasinac goes up and over. 
Finds himself eased off the ball. Dzeko, now it's Dzeko, he gets, it's Dzeko! He scores! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. We have got ourselves a game here. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum, man. We can get that clear. France have it back, and they can go again. Coming up to half-time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Bosnia and Herzegovina keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Looking for space out wide. Gets away from his opponent. And he's there to cut it out. Griezmann. Griezmann. Now it's Giroud. He's got through. A corner it is then. Griezmann plays it short. It's come loose. And it's Griezmann. He'll hit it! Tries to get it clear. Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. They've played it short, and here's Giroud, turns and goes back. Well played, he saw that coming. And the weighted pass. Sit forward. Mbappe. Now it's Giroud. Sunic. Into stoppage time. Very little left on it. Sunic. Kolasinac. Kolasinac drives it forward, tries lifting it over, played into space out wide. That intervention was very necessary. And there is the half-time whistle. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. So what a half. So many talking points, so many goals, so much drama. It's 3-2. The action has already resumed here. Changes made by neither side, from what we understand. Puts it into the middle. 
take by the keeper, he's read that well. Conte. And it's Mondi. Now it's Giroud. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. And it's been taken straight back. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? And the finish! Forward it goes. Goes long. Mendy has created one goal already. Pogba. And here's Griezmann. Matuidi. Matuidi spreads it towards the left. Matuidi. And here's Griezmann. Griezmann takes control of it and he's on the move. Played out to the right. Plays it out to the flank. Gets into some space. Defending of the desperate variety. Pjanic moves short. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Griezmann gets the better of Griezmann! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. He's got options out wide. It's got through to him. Real chance! It's broken loose. Matuidi plays it forward. Mbappe is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. Knocks it away. Sunic. Out to the right. And it's Griezmann. He's made sure that that won't get through. And more than happy to take the muscular approach. Besic. Just brushed off the ball there. Going through. Incoming cross. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Pavar gets it back. Giroud. Griezmann, who has made his impact already. to get it forward quickly. Pjanic. Kolasinac. Kolasinac drives it forward. He's got away. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. There are a few waiting for it. Battles to win it back. Crosses into the box. Hits it first time! Oh, good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. France can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. And it's played forward. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough.
and it's Kolasinac. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Baran did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Chiru, he's off on a marauding run. Can he shoot? He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Hoists it forward and helps available out wide. Up to meet it! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Kolasinac. He's left his man. Lobs it in gently. Has a hit! And yes, it's there! The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. Snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. We have ourselves a real game here. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride. Kolasinac plays it long. Plays it out to the wing. Going through. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Giroud. Out for a throw. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Gets it back. France showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Just brushed off the ball there. Bosnia merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. And they've been caught out here. Now it's Griezmann. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Popper battles to win it back. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Plays it out to the flank. Besic. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And here's Dzeko. Bosnia merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously.
Matuidi tries to get it forward quickly. Besic goes looking. He's got away. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Bosnia showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Marachiru. He's had a goal! Oh, yes! It's there! And that may just do it! And looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Bosnia and Herzegovina making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. France take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. Gets away from his opponents. Bosnia need to give it everything they have. Kitchen sink included. Dzeko pumps it into the area. Titi can get it clear. Bosnia have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. And here's Dzeko. It's Dzeko! Mighty close. Oh, and it's such a good effort. Maybe the target really should have been hit. France need to hold on for a few more moments. Sunic. And it's played forward. Done very well to intervene. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Cleared away. It is now or never. Time is against them. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. So that's it. It is all over. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory and look ahead with real belief.